right now leading the way with some breaking news. So a Target store robbed in Anderson Township. The suspect takes off in a U-Haul truck. This high-speed chase started along a very busy Beachmont Avenue and then ended in over the Rhine. That's where we find WLWT News Files Chris Jacobs, who's learning much more about the chase and that arrest. Hi, Chris. Yeah, hey guys. Well, this police chase coming to an end in OTR right now. This is the intersection of 14th and Broadway. Uh, deputies have this bit of road blocked off right now, and you can see the aftermath of that pursuit with this U-Haul truck. Very violent into this crash, but this is what we know about what happened and what led to this incident here in OTR. So this started as a robbery at the Target in Anderson Township on Beachmont. We do know that suspect ran off after the robbery. He got in this U-Haul. He was running from deputies, making it all the way to this intersection in OTR, and then he crashed. That's actually about a 25 minute drive from here, so it was a pretty long pursuit. And this is all before crashing into this tree here. He did hit another car at this intersection, though we spoke with the owner. She didn't want to be interviewed. She says the car is still drivable. We also spoke with one witness about the violent end of this chase. The U-Haul truck was speeding up this one, this street, and it took this curve very, very fast and started skidding and then overcompensated, started to tip over, recorrected himself and hit our neighbor's car and then crashed into the tree. And then he jumped out and ran. And ran. Yeah, again, that suspect is now in custody and there were no pedestrians that were hurt in this, which I've just spoke with one person says that's really incredible because this is of course a very walkable area. There's a dog park right here. There's Ziegler Park right across the street. So a very busy uh, area for people to walk around walking their dogs, but no injuries and that suspect also now in custody and deputies have not said how long this stretch of road is gonna be closed. Hopefully we can speak with them in just a little bit. For now, reporting live in OTR, Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5.